In a major breakthrough, the NIA has arrested two suspects from Kolkata in the Bengaluru blast case. The accused were hiding under fake identities. As per the NIA, Shazib was the main accused who had placed the ID at a cafe, while Taha was the mastermind who was the mastermind behind planning and execution of the attack. The two were arrested in a joint operation between the NIA, Central Intelligence Agencies and State Police of West Bengal, Telangana, Karnataka and Kerala. A new video now has emerged of them checking into the hotel from where they were caught. The two accused have now been sent to 10 days of judicial custody. Ashraf Ali, who was a receptionist at the Dream Guest House, uh, where they were caught, in fact, has released a statement. Or हम लोग का जो है सिस्टमेटिक हम लोग आधार कार्ड हो या कोई आईडी कार्ड हो हम लोग लेते हैं वो हम लोग को दिखलाएं और हम लोग अपना खाता में पोस्टिंग किए वो आए थे 25 तारीख को और गए 28 तारीख को तो एस पर जैसी होता है वो आता है आए और लिखा है पेमेंट किया अपना रूम में चले गए इतने ही तक हम लोग जानते हैं और गतिविधि के बाद जो होता रहे वो अपना जाते थे खाना उना खाना उना लाने जाते थे अपना बस इतने ही तक हम लोग जानते थे जब हम लोग कई दर इन्वेस्टिगेशन नए का आदमी आए थे जब तो उस टाइम में हम लोग को नहीं बताया उन लोग क्या है नहीं है आए डायरेक्ट हम लोग से पूछे जो आपका रजिस्टर चेक करना है हम लोग आए हैं तो हम लोग कहाँ से आए तो बोले हम लोग इससे आए एन आई से आ रहे हैं तो उन लोग अपना डॉक्यूमेंट दिखलाए एन आई का आदमी है हम लोग एक आई डी कार्ड दिखलाए थे ऑफिसर इंचार्ज जो थे एक इस केस का मुख्य के, उन लोग दिखलाए उसके बाद हम लोग इन्वेस्टिगेशन करने हम लोग दे दिए अपना दिखला दिए और मेरा जितना जेरोक्स है वो जेरोक्स भी हम दे दिए उनको Belly Thomas is joining us for more details on this story. Belly, a new video emerging of uh, the two checking into the hotel where they were caught. Also, now the receptionist has released a soundbite. I think we've lost that connection there with uh, Belly Thomas, unfortunately. But these are the latest updates uh, coming in. I'm being told uh, Belly is back with us on the broadcast. Belly, if you're able to hear me now, I was trying to ask you about this video that has now emerged of the two accused checking into uh, the hotel from there where they were caught. The receptionist, in fact, has also now spoken with the media. Uh, exactly, um, Uday. Um, uh, uh, the, the NA has released uh, the CCTV footage in which uh, these uh, two, uh, Shazib and uh, Taha, had checked into uh, hotels um, in, in West Bengal. There are uh, a total of eight uh, hotels um, uh, that the duo had stayed uh, in four districts of West Bengal uh, is what we uh, gather. And um, they had uh, checked in uh, to this particular hotel uh, where, uh, which the NIA, NIA had released uh, CCTV uh, footage this, uh, on March 12th. Um, and uh, uh, the, uh, it was a low-budget uh, uh, hotel um, where they stayed for uh, one day, after which they moved to another hotel um, uh, uh, in the same uh, Kolkata. And uh, on, on 16th, uh, they, um, uh, they suspected something and uh, they had uh, fled to Darkly. And on 20th, they again came back to um, uh, Kolkata and uh, um, uh, they stayed in another um, uh, two, two hotels, the latest of which was the new Diga Hotel uh, from where uh, they were uh, picked up uh, by the NIA. Um, so uh, uh, this uh, the staying in Kolkata also comes in the backdrop of uh, um, uh, a recent incident which is not connected uh, as such but the NA officials were uh, recently um, attacked when they were uh, uh, going to arrest uh, 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 a couple of uh, TMC workers who had uh, who, who was involved in um, the 2022 uh, um, East uh, Medinapur uh, blast. Um, uh, the West Bengal um, Bhupati Nagar Police have also registered uh, an FAR uh, booking uh, the NA officials for uh, molestation um, after they um, uh, broke into, uh, raided um, uh, the, the suspect's house in, in Bhupati Nagar. So that, that was a kind of um, uh, 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 animosity uh, that we are looking at uh, between uh, uh, the people uh, residing there and uh, the NA officials. 
uh, um, NA officials as such. So um, uh, but the, the political um, uh, uh, ripples, uh, uh, th this uh, debates have uh, uh, now emerged uh, among political circles as to um, uh, uh, Kolkata or the West Bengal has uh, turned a safe uh, haven for um, uh, terrorists coming and uh, seeking, uh, taking asylum uh, after they commit uh, crime uh, uh, in um, the other part. Um, other parts of the country. Um, and now coming to uh, the uh, transit uh, um, warrant uh, of these two accused, the NA officials have uh, brought them to Bengaluru and um, they have produced uh, the, the two before a magistrate and, and have sought a custody of uh, 10 days for uh, further interrogation. And today they have been uh, taken uh, to the uh, Forensic Science uh, Laboratory, uh, the, the Office of the Directorate of um, uh, Forensic Science uh, Laboratories, uh, where uh, their uh, hair samples and uh, the skin shreds or uh, peels would be collected uh, to, to match or corroborate with uh, the, the evidence that was collected uh, from, the, uh, from the crime scene. Uh, uh, you should also note that there was a baseball cap uh, that uh, the accused, uh, uh, Shazib, was wearing uh, when uh, he, um, uh, he, uh, he he was he's uh, confirmed to be um, uh, the planter of the bomb at the Rameshram Cafe uh, in Bengaluru on March 1st. So uh, the, the NA officials are also um, uh, uh, kind of um, um, uh, collecting evidence of the second accused uh, Taha, where uh, he's uh, uh, he's the alleged mastermind of the uh, uh, the Rameshram uh, bomb blast. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.